Denver's International Airport is known for a lot of things, like secret underground tunnels, possibly harboring alien life forms, and now for the first flight of United 737 MAX since it was recertified a few months ago. United has chosen today, February 11th, as the date for this inaugural flight from Denver to Houston, and I was lucky enough to grab a seat in their first class cabin. In my last Max video, I received a lot of really great feedback from viewers across the globe, and I was surprised to see so many positive comments about the 737 MAX. It really seems like most of you are genuinely excited to see this plane back in the sky. There are some people though who still need a little bit more convincing before they step foot on a MAX. Like it or not, the MAX is making a comeback, and United is just one of many carriers who are phasing this narrow body back into service. That means that eventually this plane will end up being part of our travel itineraries regardless of whether we love it or hate it. You probably already figured out that I'm not too concerned about flying on the 737 MAX, but don't worry, I won't be making any off-color jokes this time. Believe me, I learned my lesson from the reaction I received on my last video. Boarding was conducted from the back of the plane to the front as a health precaution. This didn't apply to first class passengers though, who could get on whenever they wanted to. For this flight, I opted to sit in seat 4A because the seat behind me, 5A, was missing a window and I wanted the best view possible of the wing. Unlike their older Maxis, United has outfitted this 737 Max with a proper bulkhead, which really gives the cabin a nice sense of privacy. Upon entering the plane, everyone was given one of these sanitizing wipes, and first class passengers had a bottle of water waiting for them at their seats. United was very proactive about telling their passengers that they were going to fly on a 737 MAX, and giving them the option to switch for free if they felt uncomfortable. They've even dedicated an entire section of their website to all the safety measures they've implemented, including, but not limited to, adding a second sensor to monitor the angle of the plane countless hours of pilot training and updating each MAX with the latest FAA approved flight deck software. Flight down to Houston, 1864. We're gonna push back here in a couple minutes. We'll get de-iced before we get uh, to the runway. We're expecting to take off to the west and have a nice flight down to Houston, maybe just a little bit of bumps associated with some weather around the airport. We thank you for choosing United today. Welcome on board. This ended up being a full flight, so boarding took a while, but eventually the cabin doors were closed and we pushed back from the gate. As the captain mentioned earlier, we needed to stop to get de-iced before takeoff. This was the first time I've ever seen this from the inside of a plane, and it was a really neat experience. The whole de-icing process only took a few minutes, and soon enough we're off to the runway. I will warn you though, all that de-icing fluid on the windows did ruin my takeoff footage.
This plane is only about a year old, and has never been flown commercially until today, so the cabin was spotless. There's 20 seats in first class and a 2-2 layout. Each seat is 20 and a half inches wide and has 38 inches of pitch. They definitely feel really spacious, and I thought there was a nice amount of legroom. You also have a big storage pocket, as well as a literature pocket in front of you. And props to United for keeping the 737 MAX branding on their safety cards. The center console is nice and wide, and there's a universal outlet as well as a water bottle holder in front for each passenger. The tray table pulls out from inside the armrest, and you can move it back and forth. There are no personal TV monitors on this plane, so each table has a tablet holder built in. I think my favorite feature of the Max is the massive overhead bins. These are a huge improvement over the ones you'll see on older planes. The crew began the meal and drink service as soon as we reached cruising altitude. You had a choice between a snack box or a hot sandwich, and I decided to go with the everything baguette with cream cheese. I know it doesn't look like much, but it actually tasted really good. With the meal cleared away, it was time to sit back, relax, and enjoy the rest of the flight to Houston. As I mentioned before, there are no TVs on this plane, but United does make it really easy to stream content from their website free of charge to your personal device. And here's a look at the famously small lavatory on the 737 MAX. I actually think this one in first class is bigger than the ones in economy. So far, I've been really impressed with United, not only on this flight, but others I've taken recently. The staff on the ground and in the air have all been very professional, and they seem genuinely friendly. United has made a huge effort to improve the customer experience, and it shows. This airline has definitely come a long way from the dark days when they were, well, beating up their own passengers. One thing that did surprise me about today's flight, though, was the lack of recognition that it received. There were a lot of VIPs from United on board, but aside from that, the airline really didn't do much to mark this special occasion. Oh well, it's really not a big deal. I'm just happy that I was able to be a part of this important day, and that we made it to Houston on time. I struck up a conversation with the gentleman sitting next to me, and he didn't even know that he was on a MAX. When he found out though, he was completely unfazed about flying on a plane with such a troubled past. Today's flight was filled with aviation enthusiasts who know the industry and have done enough research to make themselves feel comfortable. But the 737 MAX's fate rests with those, like my seatmate, who aren't really into aviation. It's my hope that successful flights like today's will help restore the MAX's infamous reputation and ease the public's concerns about this plane. So, are you happy to see the 737 MAX return with another airline, or are you going to leave me some hate in the comments? Let me know below.